I love this little print. It's sort of where the city is still going into the rural areas and <coughs> people are fishing in one of the many little rivers or canals that goes through the city. He's going all over. He's going in the suburbs. He's going right into the heart of the city. He's going into traditional venues. He's going into modern venues. One of the ways people talked about things at that time was there were different kinds of culture. The Japanese use the word culture in various ways. And Westerners tend to say, what about Japanese culture? The question is, what culture are you talking about in Japan? And as the city emerged after the earthquake, there was a notion of the old culture, which they called the Noden culture. And Noden are the curtains, hanging curtains, in front of traditional shops that you park mm -hmm. to walk into the shops. And those are the old traditional byways. The other is the Maruno Uchi culture, which takes one of these great hubs and is so westernized and, and uh, stone and brick buildings and the modern cars and the more westernized elites. But there are many cultures emerging here, and here we have a kind of outskirts or mm. uh, culture or more traditional culture on the outskirts of what we will also see as a fantastic uh, built-up city. And a lot of the groundwork gets laid between, precisely between mm. the period between earth, the Great Kanto Earthquake and World War II. It's mm. when we see these uh, terminal stations, uh, subway lines, department stores, uh, suburbs for that matter, mm -hmm. as organized residential areas uh, mm. get created during this period. Right. Uh, what fascinates me about this is Hiroshige did exactly the same print a hundred years before, mm. and, and other artists did. This, this was looking, looking west, I believe. So if I could be have my southwest southwest yeah but the palace the imperial palace is behind is behind us really conveys a very modern looking city to mm -hmm. anyone who, mm -hmm. who looks there 